Hey friends, Julia and Kingsley Collins here. We're going to do some kids yoga. So let's begin sitting in easy pose and we'll start with a breath. You ready Kingsley? Let's bring your hands to your belly and breathe into the belly. Feel the breath, press the hands away. And then as you exhale, the hands press back toward the spine. Keep breathing here and just feel that breath move in and out of your body. Move the hands up to the ribs and same thing here. Bring the breath into the ribs. Imagine that you have a big balloon inside of your body and you're filling it up with air as you inhale and it's deflating as you exhale. Breathe out. Inhale, breathe in, fill up that balloon. Exhale, breathe out. A couple more breaths here. Moving the hands up to the chest. Same thing here. Fill up that balloon in your chest. Inhale, feel the chest rise. And as you exhale, feel it fall and melt back down. A few breaths here. Nice deep calming breaths. Allowing you to slow down and focus inward. Breathe in and out. Now we're going to rest our hands on our knees and link the breath like an ocean wave from the belly to the ribs all the way up into the chest. And then let it all go. Let's begin. Inhale through the nose, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, let it all out. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, let it all go. Visualize that ocean wave just like you're at the ocean in the summertime. Nice and calming. In and out. Great. Let's add some movement. Roll the shoulders up to your ears and roll them away. Roll the shoulders up to your ears and roll them away. And then place your hands on top of your shoulders like you have big wings and you're going to roll the shoulders and the elbows in big circles. Then roll the shoulders back. Change direction. Great job. One more circle. And we'll come forward into tabletop. So bring your hands forward. Your hands are under your shoulders. Knees are under the hips. And we'll move into cat pose. Round through the spine. Tuck your tailbone. Tuck your chin. And inhale into cow pose. Drop your belly button toward the floor and look up. Exhale, cat pose. Meow. You can say meow. You can say moo as you come into cow pose. Moving through this a few more times. Cat and cow. Moo. And meow. Moo. And finally, we'll come to child's pose. Sit your hips back towards your heels and reach your arms forward. Breathe nice and slow. Just calm down. Relax. Now we'll move forward into puppy pose. Lift your hips away from your heels, reach your arms forward and melt your chest down toward the floor. You can rest your chin or your forehead on the floor or the mat. And you can wag your tail, your little puppy tail, just like a little puppy dog. Coming forward into sphinx pose. Bring your legs and your pelvis to the mat. 
Lower your forearms to the mat like a number 11 and spread your fingers wide. Press your shoulders away from your ears. Feel that nice stretch in your back and your front. Now we're gonna come into Cobra. Kingsley, do you know what a Cobra is? It's a type of snake. Do you like snakes? Kind of? <laughs> I don't like snakes. Let's lower down, bring our hands by our chest under our shoulders and hug our elbows into the body. Bring your toes together, lengthen the spine and lift your chest. You can come nice and low or you can come high like Kingsley. Kingsley, press your shoulders away from your ears. Good job. Just breathe here and press up and back to downward facing dog. So downward facing dog is like an upside down V shape with your body. Reach your heels toward the floor and press into the hands. You can wag your tail bending one knee and then the other. Keep pressing your tailbone up to the sky. You're doing great. Is everybody having fun yet? Let's walk forward into a forward fold. You can rock your head forward and back, side to side, stretching your legs and your back. Roll up slowly to mountain pose. Make the peak of your mountain with your hands. Bring them to the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in. Reach the arms up overhead. Tall, strong mountain. Swan day forward. Standing here in tree pose. Things he hasn't done tree before. So we're gonna do it together. Bring your palms together. Turn your right knee out and bring the sole of your right foot to the inside of your ankle, your calf, or your thigh, either above or below the knee. Can you reach your branches up to the sky? Extending those branches, find some balance and reach those arms up to the sky. It's okay if you fall down, don't worry. You can find that balance. Great job. Lower the legs and we'll move to the other side. Turn your left knee out and bring the sole of the foot either above or below the knee, finding some balance. It's okay if one side is more balanced than the other. Reach the arms up overhead. Extend your branches up to the sky. You're doing great. Lower down. Great job. Fold forward and step back. Downward facing dog. Come to the knees and sit down. Onto your heels. We're gonna become a lion. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and stick our tongue out. <sighs> kind of silly but it's really fun. Inhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> Again, inhale. <sighs> Great job. Come to all fours. Downward facing dog. And walk the feet forward for a Malasana squat or a yogi squat. Turn your toes out, the knees come out. And Kingsley's gonna show you how to do crow pose. You're going to bring your hands to the floor, lift your bottom up in the air, and rest your knees on your triceps or kind of in your armpits. Then shift forward, and maybe lift your toes off the floor. You can put a pillow in front of you if you're afraid of falling forward. And then Kingsley's going to show you how to lower your head to the mat and lift your legs up into a headstand, lower back down. And you can play around with that. Have some fun with it. It takes a while to get up into that crow pose and understand it, but play around and have some fun. Let's lay down onto the back. 
hug your knees into your chest, become a little ball, a tight little ball. And then extend all the way out for your Shavasana. And we're going to take a breathing technique that Kingsley and I do almost every night, especially when she has some trouble sleeping or calming down. So, I'll count for you. We're going to inhale for a count of four, hold the breath for a count of seven, and exhale for a count of eight. So I'll count for Kingsley, and she's gonna sit here and close her eyes and relax. All right, let's begin. Close your eyes. Relax, I'll count for you. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That concludes our yoga flow. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this time with your child and we'll see you next time. You can look for more videos on our page. Thanks again. Namaste. Namaste.